What's up, guys? Welcome back to Five Fingers in My Ass. You have a choice to make. The door is Fuck off. Away. As I was saying... Fucking Freddy Fazcrack. Welcome back to Five Nights... Five Fingers in My Fucking Ass! Today, we're going to... Uh, we're gonna discover lore. I don't know what I'm doing. I beat the game, like, months ago. I got... Good ending. Had, like, three stars or some shit. Um... Elevators are pretty cool. Let's go down that. Uh, so... I, I don't really give a shit about any other ending. I've seen them all. So, today, we're gonna be looking for lore. Uh... I'm sure it's never been done before. Did you know that bears like pizza sauce more than honey? It's true. People... God damn it, I have to repeat like 30 seconds of gameplay. That's fine, I'm fast. I got shoes. Okay, anyway. I found this party pass. There are areas lead the way, superstar. Yeah, that I'm the superstar. I have one Mario party. Alright, let's go. We're discovering lore. So, you see these? These these neon lights? I don't either, let's go. So yeah, I have shoes on fast. Thank you. This contributes to my lore. Uh yeah, this contributes to to my story. So which way am I going? Okay. This place is kind of big. So, last time, uh, some chick asked me to go somewhere. I think it was like the main stage, so I think we're gonna see a performance. Nice. The that's not the stage. That's just Star Wars. I don't like holograms. I was attacked by a hologram when I was a child. I got bitch slapped, but the thing is, it just passed right through me. I don't recommend getting attacked by holograms. It's not fun. You get, like, blinded. Even if you have your eyes closed. Because the thing is, it's a hologram. So it's made of light. I just want to go downstairs. Should be... Ah, here we are. Everybody loves me, right? All right, so I, I <clears throat> oh, phlegm. I love phlegm. All right, I feel like there was something I was supposed to do. Where, where, where's the stage? I haven't played this game in too long. We're just. I need to find a lore. What, what the, what, what does she want me to do? You know what? I, I think it's. I remember it's over here. In the back rooms. I forgot that I have a controller connected. Let me just do that. So, you might be wondering, but Ed, uh, Five Nights, Five Nights at Freddy's has already been played like many times by many people, and people have basically just turned the game inside out to the point where it was like they ass fucked it like 20, 25 times. And to that I say I agree. The fuck. And to that I say, I agree. What am I agreeing to? I completely forgot what I just said. Uh, probably saw the- Oh, yeah, right, it was played many times. But anyway, yes, I agree, it was. But, you see, something that's never been done, and will never be done, is people haven't discovered the lore. Like, you see, these? Uh, you can put your face through them. 
Now, I don't- I don't think anybody has ever- I don't think anybody has ever discovered this before, but that's what a cardboard cutout is. Uh... It's also <laughs> this guy. He's pretty cool. This is- this- this is where our investigation starts, okay? So, you see these chairs? People sit on them, okay? Now, I don't- I don't know if you've ever- I don't know if you know what sitting is, but it's when you... It's when you put your ass on something, and then it, it feel, it feels good on your legs. Now, what do your legs have to do with your ass? What the fuck? So that person kind of exists. Nothing beats a body blocker. Nobody likes a body blocker. An angel head ass. Fat shaming me. Alright, so now we're in an, now we're in the ominous hallway. Now the ominous hallway is really cool because there are pallets. Now this you see, this is a Fortnite reference. That's a robot. That's also a robot. This is reference to Elon Musk. Alright storage area this is where this is where real shit comes in so this is a helmet and it's pink now i don't know if you know much about pink but she made a really cool song back in the day that i can't play uh is this something about being a rock star I don't, I don't know and you see this has correlation with the fnaf lore uh because mr william afton right he killed his daughter and uh, put her in some sort of like robot, or maybe he turned her into a robot. I don't, I don't fucking know, bro. I I finished Have a Nice Death and I just went through a fucking midlife crisis. I beat the game in a throwaway run, and now I I just find myself here. <gasps> oh my god. Hold on. Where is he? Here he is. Alright, so, as you can see here, I just found something out. So, you see how Freddy's all beat up, right? That's reference to when Mr. Moon Man uh, kicked the shit out of him and then put him into parts and service. Uh, now, this just so happens to be an alternate universe. Freddy doesn't actually exist. What happened was Freddy actually got disassembled. But instead of being, having his casing put into a... like, getting put into a new endoskeleton, they decided to turn him into a car. In order to further understand this, in order to further understand the the Freddy Fazbear lore, we have to go into a different game. So we're actually in Palm City now, okay? In the game Need for Speed Heat. Now, you might be wondering, what the fuck does Need for Speed have to do with Freddy Fazbear? And in Five Nights at Freddy's security breach, right? When you go into Freddy, he's very slow. Now, what happened was, when he was in parts and service, Gregory said, Nuh-uh, I got these shoes, I'm fast, so you need to be too. So he sent him over to the shipping crates, right? Sent him over to the shipping crates, because he needed to be faster, and imported his casing into a 4 GT. So now, Gregory is extremely fast. Ignore the fact that I'm he's, he's not being driven by Gregory, but... This person's relevant. And so, with this brand new casing and its brand new 4 GT, Gregory decided to take Freddy Fazbear out for a test drive. Or may I say Freddy Faz Ford out for a test drive. And he was quite shocked, so he decided, hey, why restrict you to just the Pizza Plex? Alright? I'm taking you further. I'm taking you to the Knights of Palm City. And as you can see, we went from going 20 miles miles? 20 kilometers an hour to over 300. Now, as you can see, Gregory is still only just a child, or is he a child? But you know, Gregory is no longer the crying child. He Let's makes see the who's other the children one crying cry. Now. In order to fact that- Oh, shit. Maybe I would if you just shut the fuck up! Oh my, what language? That's not very superstar. Gregory is I'm trying some to focus here, from, Freddy. Uh, You'll be seeing stars in a minute race. if I don't. As you guys can see, the situation has escalated. 
So yeah, Roxy Raceway has uh, taught me a few things. Uh, how to commit vehicular manslaughter. Only this time, it's not on robots. Gregory's cornering skills are on point. He knows his way around a robot. Gregory, are you sure this is what we should be doing? Are you sure this is the right thing to do? Luckily, your dashboard has a mute button. <sighs> and luckily, I'm also not inside your stomach. That thing was cramped. Hell yeah! First place, another day, another dollar. Oh, Gregory, what are you doing? Why am I in so much pain? You are a robot, Freddy. You don't feel pain. Yeah, but I still know about my damage, though. Damn it, the crash made his mute button stop working. The situation has escalated even further. Gregory is. Fuck off. Gregory is now a most wanted criminal in all of Palm City. So, together with Freddy, they, uh. They, they left. So Gregory knows the ins and outs now of the street racing business, and after becoming the most wanted criminal in Palm City, like any sane person, he simply left, as if he was living in Ohio. Fortunately for him, unlike his theorized well, father, he's not coming class. back. And in fact, he actually learned he a little bit of Freddy. mechanic work, and this time, he's not Freddy Faz fucking around. So, at least this time, he's taking on an uber job. Oh boy, shit's about to get real. Just kidding, no it's not. I'm not a criminal. It's Gregory. Gregory's a criminal. Do I look like Gregory right now? Oh fuck. <laughs> he took the pretty fast forward GT and he slapped its casing onto a Lotus. As you can see here. He's quite talented. Ready? Get used to it. That sounds sweet. You can't beat the stuff at the pizza plex, though. I mean, I would hope so. It literally has pizza in the day. Yeah, this is just straight up the fire escape ending, but way cooler. Alright, that's gonna be about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, listening to my <clears throat> headcanon. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, be sure to check out some of the other stuff I've done on this channel. And uh, you can also support it by dropping a like and a sub. Helps me out a lot. Anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, whenever it is that you may be watching it. See ya!